Hey, what's up guys? So I wanna do a review on this mini split you see behind me. It is a Senville that I bought from Amazon and I have been really impressed with it. I bought it back in February, so I've been able to use it for about three months. It both heats and cools my garage. I've had both 85 degree hot days and below freezing cold days. So I think I can speak to it now and just give my experience, but I'm gonna go over pros, cons, my overall opinion on like mini splits in general, and then specifically talk about this Senville unit that I bought from Amazon. So let's get into it. All right, first let's talk cost. So when you're looking to buy a mini split, no matter what brand you look at, you'll notice they have cheaper models and more expensive models. And there's something called a BTU rating, which actually stands for British Thermal Units. And the reason I bring that up is the higher the BTU, the more money it costs. And the higher the BTU, the more area the unit can cool and heat. So I'll put some links in the description that'll show, you know, based on your area, how many BTUs you need. And the most cost effective way to get a mini split is to buy it yourself and install it yourself. And originally that's what I thought I was gonna do. But then after watching some YouTube videos on how much is involved with installing these, I realized like, man, I really don't have a couple days to spend figuring this out, installing it. Plus there was some other things I was a little weary on just with electrical and, you know, these tubes that have some kind of coolant in there and I was just worried if I break it or do it wrong, I'm like, you know what? Let me see how much it costs to have somebody else install this. So I actually called a company, I had them come by and give me a quote on putting a mini split in my garage. And it came out to $7,600 or $7,585.57 to be exact. And that was gonna be for a one year warranty and a 30,000 uh, BTU rating. It was gonna be a Bryant a uh, brand of machine 20 sear rating seemed pretty decent, but yeah, it was $7,600. I'm like, whoa, that is just way more than I wanted to spend. So then, you know, I started shopping and looking and for a unit of this size in terms of at least the 30,000 BTUs, you can get it for around two grand. So I'm like, man, I could save a ton of money, like over $5,000 just to do it myself. So then I was kind of back on that idea of, you know what, if it's gonna cost that much, I think I will just do it myself and take a couple days to figure this out. But after learning that, you know, it's, it's under $2,000 for one of these units, I had the idea, well, like maybe if I don't buy it as a package deal, I could call around and see, you know, how much would you charge me just to install the unit? I already have the unit, how much for that? And I felt like that would be an easier phone call to hopefully get some pricing on the phone because I'm thinking, you know, a big reason they want to come out is they want to measure the area and size the unit for the area. And when I made those calls, I realized uh, a lot of places just don't wanna do that. They wanna sell you both the unit and the installation as a package deal, which I have nothing against. So the point of me just saying that is, if you wanna go the route I did, which I think was a good compromise of saving some money, but also not doing the work myself, that's just gonna be the only like hurdle I could see you encountering, is maybe you call 10 companies and only three of them are actually willing to install a unit that you purchase yourself, where the majority of them are going to want to sell you both as a package deal and they won't even agree to or consider or entertain the idea of installing a unit that you buy yourself. However, I was able to find some companies that would install it and I was able to get this installed at $2,150 to be exact. I did have to buy a bracket on Amazon. I'll put all the links to everything down in the description that was $58. So my total price was $4,128.59, which was $3,456 cheaper than if I just would have done that package deal with that company that I had come out and give me a quote. So long story short, at least in my case, I saved some money by buying the unit myself and then hiring someone to install it. All right, so now I wanna go over the pros and cons. The unit I have, it's a Senville. I bought it off of Amazon. It was 36,000 BTU. Yeah, I've been using it for the last three months and I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess I didn't have another mini split to compare it to, but my expectations of what a mini split is and can do have been exceeded, so that's good. So the first pro I wanna talk about is the actual app that I use to control it. You know, I've got other nice things, like I have an LG TV washer and dryer that has an app that you can control it with. Um, I've got some like Gen Air dishwashers and an oven and stuff that you, has an app that you control it with. And those are like really nice products. And this is like a cheap thing I bought off Amazon. So I was expecting the app to not be very good. And this app is way better than those things I was just talking about. It's very clean, very intuitive, 
easy to use and it works you know half the time these apps and stuff don't even work like I can easily just turn it off turn it on change the temperature what's really nice is the schedules and it's very user friendly easy to use you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius the 24 hour clock versus like the a.m. and p.m. it's just set up really well in my opinion normally with these kind of things they're pretty jankety and bad so I was again pleasantly surprised with how well the user interface is on the app all right another pro is that it is whisper quiet like it is on full blast right now and I doubt you can even hear it. We'll see if the camera picks it up. I'll run some B-roll where I like literally I'm gonna put the camera right in front of it. All right, another pro is it's, it's really fast. You know, if you need to heat up your garage or cool it down, I was expecting it to take two or three hours. I mean, maybe it's because I got it a little oversized, 36,000 BTU for a 1,200 square foot area with, you know, 15 foot ceiling. So it's, it's a pretty big area, but I mean, it'll heat it or cool it. I haven't actually timed it, but it doesn't take more than a half hour, which I was just shocked by. I was expecting it to take two or three hours. Now I don't have good data on that. Maybe, maybe if it was 100 degrees out and I wanted to cool it down to 63 degrees, I'm not exactly sure like how, how long that would take, but it's a lot faster than I would have thought just just guessing, never using one before. All right, but yeah, it just works and it works really well. So now let's go over some of the cons. Um, the user manual says that you're supposed to clean the filters every two weeks, which I think is excessive. It's like, I don't wanna every two weeks clean the filter. It's some one of those things that it's just like, I know I'm not gonna do that. And I haven't cleaned it since I bought it. And just to give you some background, like this garage, I, that was the first thing I installed. So then I had drywall mud put on here. So there was a lot of dust. I had you know primer painting i had the garage floors epoxy so there was a lot of chemical fumes and dust in the air and i still haven't cleaned the filters and it's still working great and i kind of purposely didn't clean it just to make sure like is this really going to break it do you really need to clean it every two weeks i'm sure it would help it be more energy efficient and move the air and i am going to clean it probably today now that i'm talking about that all right so while editing the video i'm like hey i better get up there and check out these uh filters which i did and they were fine they weren't even that dirty i'm definitely not going to clean them every two weeks i would maybe do it once a year if that um and it doesn't say in the user manual anything like it'll void the warranty if you don't in fact it just asks you nicely it says please clean them every two weeks but i just think it's silly to have that in there because it's just an unreasonable expectation and I was just trying to find some cons. Um, the exterior part of it does take up a little bit of room. Maybe you don't like the way that looks on the outside of your house or something. Again, I'm just trying to find some cons here. It won't work if it gets too cold outside. So every unit's gonna be a little bit different in how low of a temperature it can go and still heat. But this specific unit is negative five degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius. All right, another con is you know, it, it's a ductless system. So they call them zones, these like heads, which is basically a vent that blows air. For this specific unit, the most zones you could get would be four zones. So it isn't really practical for a compartmentalized building. It's made more for like a big open area, like a commercial application or a garage. Or if you were to put it in a home, you know, it, you only have four zones. So not only do you have to install one in all these different areas, but let's say that you've got three bedrooms, you know, two bathrooms, a kitchen, a laundry room, a basement, like all these different areas, you're not gonna be able to efficiently heat all those. That's why the traditional, at least in America, you know, HVAC system has got, you know, a centralized unit or units and then a bunch of ducts that go out and have a bunch of vents in all these different rooms. So unless you're heating like one big area like I am here, it might not be the best uh, situation for you. And again, I'm just trying to find some cons. The last con is that it says the warranty, the manufacturer warranty it comes with, this guy right here, it's only valid if you have a professional install it. So if you're looking to install it yourself, you know, you're not gonna have the manufacturer's warranty, but it is cool if you do go the route I did, you do get a warranty. So you could view that as a con or a pro. I just put it under cons, because again, I wanted to make sure I was trying to give both sides of the story and not just rave about how great this thing is but as you can probably tell i am really really happy with this and impressed with it you know so just mini splits in general if you're looking to climate control your garage or some kind of barn or commercial type setting um they work really really well especially this senville one i got you know speaking specifically to this one 
After three months of use, I'm thoroughly impressed and happy with it. My favorite thing actually is the app. You know, I'll definitely do a year update after I've had this for a year. I just moved to this house last July, so I don't have like last March, April, and May numbers to compare it to to see like how much more did it cost me and how energy efficient it is. But on that year update, I will have those numbers and I'll share them with you. But everything I've heard is that these units are very energy efficient. All right, so if you have some questions, drop them in the comments. I appreciate you watching, like, comment, or subscribe. See you in the next one.